everything is connected and represents a stage of life. The stars, the planets, the soil, the metals, the elements, people, animals, plants, everything, you name it. As above, so below. Every atom is a miniature universe inside itself. These are the principles of alchemy. More specifically, Chinese alchemy is focused more on immortality. How can I be immortal? This book by J.C. Cooper, I will, I will read this out for you, is a summary of the book. The whole work of alchemy is summed up to the phrase, to make of body a spirit and of the spirit a body. The goal of the Taoist alchemist mystic was transformation, or perhaps more correctly, transfiguration of the whole body until it ceases to be and is absorbed into and becomes the Tao. The alchemist becomes the true man, returning to the source, the Taoist phrase for universal oneness. Absorbed into and becomes the Tao. So Chinese alchemy is a branch of Taoism. So the yin and the yang, the balance of life. Which states that you cannot have one without the other. You cannot have black without white. You cannot have hot without cold. You cannot have moist without dry. Dark without light. Day without night. Okay. So the whole book dives into the mentality of the Chinese alchemist on their quest for immortality and states that it is to do with the breath. It is to do with moderate eating and drinking. It is to do with correct sleep. And it is to do with planning out your day, having a specific ritual and schedule for your day, which can also be related to the five elements, you know, fire, earth, water, metal, and wood. We don't want to have too much in excess. Otherwise, we are thrown off balance and our heart and our mind and our soul are disconnected with the universe and we cannot almost communicate with what the, the universe is saying to us. So in order to become one with the Tao, in order to transform and trans transmutate ourselves and our spirits into the one into the universe and be one with it it requires a inner awareness of all of our body systems all of our thoughts all of our emotions all of our goals and all of our intentions there are no shortcuts and if things are done in excess or in a rush we're thrown off balance again. I'm going to read a section of the book here. And this correctly represents why you, if you are a Westerner, why us in the Western culture struggle with these, these concepts a bit because we're mostly focused on exoteric and things outside of ourselves to to fix what's going on. We're looking for a pill, or we're looking for, you know, a person to fix our problems, or we're looking for a piece of machinery or engineering or technology to solve all of our problems. Where it's if we rely on things outside of ourselves, we're always going to be chasing our tail. Whereas if we look, he who looks within awakens. Okay, that's what Carl Jung said. So here we have. Humanity displays a genius for technical knowledge and mechanical invention. The exoteric combined with an almost complete failure of adjustment and development in the character and understanding of the inner, the esoteric world. The result is total frustration, conflict and war in national life and in the personal sphere, nervous illness, tension, imbalance and disharmony. The yin esoteric and the yang exoteric here as everywhere require each other and must work together with nature not against her cooperating not conquering 
So it's really about connecting and reflecting to your own body, your own mind, and feeling the contrast of waves within your own body and within others, because others are a reflection of us. So if we can connect not only to ourselves, but to other people, we can sort of tune into the frequency of the Tao of the universe and figure out, is this, is this time for me to wake up early? Is this time for me to push hard in work? Is this time for me to rest? Is this time to me for me to focus on my breath? What are my intentions? What are my daily actions and how do I align my daily actions with my intentions and my goals? The quest for immortality is to not desire anything. If you desire, you're running away from something. It is a lower mind. If you desire pleasure or if you're running away from pain, you are caught in a loop of movement. You're trying to run towards or run away from. And if you're moving, you're vibrating everywhere and you can't, you're not focused on your true path on the Tao. The Tao is not confused of where its path is. The Tao knows that there is only one path. So when you regulate your emotions, your breath, your food, your sleep, your work, you can control the outer forces to gain a greater insight into your own inner soul and expand your awareness and your consciousness into these deeper levels of thinking and of thought. I'm going to pull out another section of the book here because it, it's truly a magnificent book. I bought this book uh, secondhand on Amazon and I was not disappointed. The soul was made up of two essences. It's positive and negative aspects. The mind, nature and body nature. The yang and the yin. The yin was the po, soul, heavier, earthly, which reverted to earth and which reverted to the earth at death. And the yang was the hun or lighter heavenly soul rising to the heavens, each returning to its natural element. So if you are trying to be a positive thinker and remain positive and be positive and surround yourself with positive and be positive all the time, negative has no other choice but to come into your life and balance you out and correct you. Because if you're always trying to be one side, the other side is going to come in to correct you and bring you back into balance, back into the awareness of the Tao of the universe. Same thing if you're negative Nancy and you're depressed all the time, positive things are going to come into your life to try and change the way you think. There's, you'll be attracting other positive people and other positive things to, to bring you back into balance. Positive thinking is a myth. You need positive thinking when you're negative minded and you need negative thinking when you're positive minded to keep you humble and to keep you aware and to keep you grounded and to keep you balanced. We need the two essences of our soul because that is what the, the, the universe and the Tao is, is made up of. And we re when we respect the laws and the beauty of the universe, the beauty of our soul is awakened. Thank you for listening to Chinese Alchemy, The Taoist Quest for Immortality by J.C. Cooper. Subscribe.